Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I you know in this channel, my name is Lucy Chioma, and if you are my returning, is thank you for returning back. If today is the first day you are coming across my video and you haven't smashed that red subscribe button, sister, brother, please do well to smash on the red subscribe button and turn on the notification button so that you do not miss any of my video. So in today's video, mm, I will be discussing the few things I have learned as a mother like a things have the hardest things i have learned as a mom of two in case if you are new i am a mother of two a boy and a girl so let's dive into today's video catch you there Mwah. okay number one thing i have learned as a mother is being patient like if you're a mother you have to learn how to be patient if you're a mother that every little provocation you are angry you are talking you are talking blah 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 you know saying all manners of course to your children <laughs> just learn how to be patient because <clears throat> you see children hmm? they can be very annoying at times no don't get me wrong because i said they can be very annoying at times what i mean is that at times it's a children at times even when you don't like you don't do anything bad to them you see them crying on nurses like my son i always tell my son that your work in this house is to cry you wake up you cry you eat you poop yeah you defecate each time you want to defecate you sleep each time you want to sleep and each time you want to cry you cry that is your work in the house like uh, at times you i may be busy doing something maybe watching videos videos that i have to you know listen and know what the person is talking about but because of my son at times you see him crying on this thing every here and then he'll be like crying what is that he won't tell you anything why are you crying you will see him not saying anything rather he will just come closer to you where he knows that you're doing something you'll be crying crying cry cry shouting okay you will try all your possible best to calm this boy down like uh, what do you want okay what do you want me to buy for you what do you want me to give you and i will try and be giving him what as in I will make sure I am giving him things that uh, in a normal day, if I give him, he will be happy and enjoy it. But you see, at that moment, then he's crying. No matter what you you try to give him, no matter how you try to make him happy, he won't stop crying. Most especially when he sees that you are doing something very important, you will see him, he will be crying on your ear like, ha, 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 ha. Okay, my sister, my brother, if you are not patient enough, at that moment, you may, out of anger, you may just beat the boy like uh, your child in a way you may regret it later. Yes, I've seen mothers that they beat their children in a way that later they will take the, the child to the hospital. Okay, in case if you have not seen, I have seen. Okay, so... If you're not patient enough, at that moment, the child is disturbing you or shouting or, you know, you are busy doing something very important to you. The child will just be crying or making noise up and down or distracting you. That will be the moment you want to, to come and feed him. That will be the moment he wants you to play with him. That will be the moment he will want to cry the way he wants okay if you're not patient enough you may just be the child in a way you will regret it or out of anger you can just voice out something bad that uh, you know later when you when you when you discover that this, this thing came out from your mouth you will be like ah, how can i say this to my child so i've learned how to be patient because before you know when i have not become a mom and i can just you know when you do me something i can just be angry not so but now i've learned how to be patient how to be patient and another one is um don't talk too much like uh, <laughs> as a mother i don't talk too much most especially when my children are around when my son is around i don't talk too much because when he provoke me out of anger i can just talk get out from here do this how do you do this you're stupid but when you learn how to control your mouth, you don't talk too much, you will see that those abusive works will be far from you. But when you talk, 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 talk don't get me wrong, talking too much, I mean, here is not like how when your baby do something bad, it can't caution the person, it can't like, it cannot like uh, correct the baby that this thing you do is not good, you shouldn't do it this way, this is the way you should do it, okay? Talking too much, I mean, is that 
talking too much i mean is that you know when you're talking like oh you talk too much every little thing you abuse don't say yeah how can you abuse your your, your children yes some mothers are like that there are mothers that uh, they can't just give correction like like correct their children without abusing them yes there are mothers like that they can't just correct their children in a lovely way without abusing them because when you are angry you may not know when you 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 voice out something bad no using abusive words on your children is not good because you know my mother can my mother <laughs> my mother always say that uh, it's not good to use a mouth that uh, as a parent it's not good to that mother you're supposed to use and pray for your children it's not good for you to use the same mouth to curse your children so that is it as a mother i've learned how to control my mouth i've learned how to you know i've learned how to use words okay no matter how angry i am i know there are some words i mustn't say in my home yes there are some things i mustn't say in my home there are some works i mustn't say in my home like not only in my home even outside because if you are tired that when somebody provoke you you abuse the person outside when you are in your house you will know that okay this is your children you shouldn't say this to them because you are used to that because you are used to abusing people because you are used to stupid get out from here you stupid man you stupid woman aside you are used to that so when you are home you don't know that you are talking to your children you have to control your mouth actually I mean, i'm not saying that when you go outside you should just you know abuse people anyhow talk to people anyhow then when you are at home because you are home and because you are talking to your children now Quiet your mouth or know how to talk. No, just learn how to, you know, talk, use works. Eh? So it has taught me how to use works, how to talk, how to be a quiet woman. Like, <laughs> it's not that I'm not, I'm not, I'm a quiet woman anyway. I'm an introvert, I'm not an extrovert, but it has also made me to be more and more. No, I'm an extrovert, but now I'm an extrovert in terms of talking don't come out from there don't do that oh see them here oh this is time to read this is time to go to school this is time to sleep tomorrow is school in terms of that i have become an uh, an extrovert so another one is forgiving easily <laughs> you see me when i have not uh, become a mom <clears throat> if somebody do me sushi even if he's is my friend you know, it's not as if I don't have forgiving heart. When I find it difficult, what's this picture? When that thing pained me, like the thing pained me very well, I'd be like, oh, I beg, I don't want to see this person. I just want to be on my own. I just want to be. I don't want to see this person again. This person is really giving me headache. Like, I will find it difficult to, I might forgive the person, but, you know, I won't forget easily. I might forgive the person, but I won't find it, you know, I won't find it, um, I might forgive the person, but um, I won't find it easy to relate with the person the way I used to, okay? But uh, now, you see, because I have to forgive my children when they do something bad to me. <laughs> so, because I am a mom, I've learned how to forgive easily. You see, my son will do everything. My children, they will provoke. Even the girl that is staying with me, she will just do something that will annoy me. Well, because I'm a mom, I'll be like, if I'm the one that give birth to this girl, won't I forgive her? I will just let go and correct, give her correction and the go. And uh, another thing, it has taught me like, uh, if you are my friend and you offended me or maybe outside somebody provoked me, I'll be like, no, 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 no. I don't want to like uh, remember those things again. I'll just let go so it won't disturb me. Because when somebody provoke me outside, <laughs> I may just carry the anger and come to my home. You know, and for everything on my children. So because I'm a mother, I've learned how to forgive easily. When you provoke me, it will pay me but um oh nepal has taken lights but i will continue this video okay i can see the environment is still bright anyway so because i'm a mother um i've learned how to forgive easily yes i've learned how to forgive easily when you do me something i will just let go so it won't disturb me because at times i may be angry and come back home i will use it on my kids like oh 
they didn't do me it may not do me anything but because I, I i was angry somebody has provoked me outside and i'll come and pour the anger on them so i've learned how to uh, you know forgive easily so that it will affect me in my home okay then another one is um being stronger more than how i was before being stronger more than how i was before i am not a strong woman by god's grace because you see <laughs> before if something happened like this i would be like oh jesus my mind like oh oh jesus i'm scared but now you see the first experience i had when my son was sick <laughs> I don't want to remember the experience. I was crying. God, my son is sick. My son is sick. My son is sick. What is going on? Like I was shouting. So when I got to the hospital, uh, the one nurse that called me and said, Madam, you are not a mother. You see, it will get to a point, we get to a point when one one of your child will be sick and others will just fall sick. So what are you going to do when something of such happens to you? So you have to be coming down. Nothing is happening to your son. Just come down. It's a normal sickness that do happen to other children. I was like, wow. So now if my son is sick, I don't used to shout like before again. I'll just take my time to observe the baby. First of all, give the baby parastamol. If the sickness continues, I will be taken to the hospital. So that is how I am doing now. So I am not stronger more than how I used to be before because I am not a mother. So another one is should I say this? Okay, let me just say it's another one. Being happy, like uh, being happy, being happy. When I'm angry, I look at them. They will just do something that will make me to feel happy. I'll be like, mm, let me just smile. Let me just smile. Just be happy. So mm, it's not easy to be a mother, but at least being a mother has taught me a lot of things. A lot of things, good good things. I would say that uh, it talked to me about like good good things how to be stronger how to feel be happy even when somebody provoked me i have to be happy so that it will affect me in my home so i want to end this video here we'll continue some other time so don't forget in case if you have not liked this video don't forget to like my video and guys i want to tell you guys that how my super chat is ready my super thanks is ready my membership is also available so do well to join my membership do well to super chat me do well to super thanks me okay so i will see you guys in my next video mm? Don't forget to share my video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. What you think about this video. Okay. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.